Hey Audio Engineering, this is Mr. Goldschmidt and I want to get you started with using drums inside of Mixcraft. So today I'm loading up a new project. I have four instrument tracks. I'm going to go ahead and add those in. That's what we're going to use for our drums today. The virtual instrument tracks allows us to play in piano or guitar or any other sound including drums on our um, MIDI keyboards or even the keyboards that are connected to your computer. We can also use what's called the step sequencer or the piano roll using our mouse and clicking in and adding beats. So I'm going to go ahead and add those for four instrument, virtual instrument tracks and hit OK. Open up my project. When you get started, the first thing that you'll see here is our virtual instrument tracks. By default, they are set to acoustic piano. So if I happen to play my keyboard, I'll get a piano sound coming out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change that because we're going to be using drums today. So to get into the instruments, we're going to select this little piano icon. And here's all of the built-in virtual instruments that we're able to use. The VSTi instruments here, there's 23 different ones. These are really powerful. And we'll get into those later when we get into, uh, into making melodies. But today we're just going to work with some percussion. So today we're going to scroll down and I'm going to go to drum kits, percussion drum kits. And there's 24 different kits that we have access to on here. You can choose any kit you want. Just for today's purposes, I'm going to hit the studio drum kit. If you happen to not have a keyboard, you could hit this musical typing function and it'll allow you to play drums using your computer keyboard. If you do that, you'll want to go down one octave, down to the C2, and that puts A on your keyboard as the kick drum, and S as the snare, and T as the hi-hat. Just a, a tip there for you. I'm going to go ahead and exit off those, and now I have the studio drum kit set as my first track. Instead of having to go for these other tracks and go through all of that, I can right click and press duplicate and just duplicate those tracks so I can get some more studio drum kits without having to go through the menu. Our next step is we're going to go ahead and double click to create a region at the beginning here. Right now I'm going to talk about the step sequencer and in another video later on I'll talk about connecting MIDI keyboards. Once I click on that track it's going to open up my sound profile down below. Yours is probably set to piano roll by default. This shows all the notes on the piano and their corresponding uh, instruments set preset by the studio kit. We're not going to play around with the piano roll today. I do want to go to the step sequencer, however. Once I'm in the step sequencer, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out on my window. And what I see here is beat 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, and 1.4. That stands for measure 1, measure or excuse me, beat 1 of measure 1, measure 1 beat 2, measure 1 beat 3, and measure 1 beat 4. Then we have measure 2 and its corresponding beats, and if you go over further we have measure 3 and its corresponding beats. If I want to create a one measure loop, I'm already set and ready to go. However, if I want to create a four measure loop, what I need to do is go down and I'm going to grab this little teardrop icon, I'm going to expand that through measure 4. So now I have measure 1, 2, 3, and four. Each of these little boxes down below corresponds to a 16th note. So I have 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, just like we have used in other programs before. At this point I can go ahead and start making my beat. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with a kick drum and all I need to do is select the kick drum where I want it to play. Now I'm going to move on over to measure 3 and then measure 4, and I can hit play to go ahead and listen to the rhythm that I created. I see kick drum is here. If you guys don't see the instruments that you're looking for, you can hover over these little arrows and scroll up and down with your mouse, and you'll see more instruments. If you want to hear what the instrument sounds like, you can just click on the icon. You'll hear it. And if you don't see the instrument you want, if you go up to this Add and Edit button, Here's all of the instruments that are within that drum kit. Let's say I want to add claves. Now I see the claves are added onto my list of instruments. If you don't want an instrument on there, we can go ahead and right click on it and delete. So I don't want this ride symbol, I can delete that. If I don't want this tom, I can delete that. And really shorten down the list so you're not dealing with a lot of instruments. Finally, I can hit play and listen to the loop. Alright, so that's my kick drum. 
right now I could add my snare drum within the same track. I'm going to go ahead and add a snare on here into this part and then go ahead and hit play. And then I can go ahead and add in a hi-hat. So I'm going to click to add my hi-hat notes. Now if I happen to make a mistake, all you need to do is hit the note again and it'll go away. There's also an eraser function on here. I'm using the pencil tool for adding notes. If you're having issues adding notes, that may be because you're on the cursor icon. You've got to make sure that you're on the, the pencil tool there to be able to add in some notes. You can also hold and drag across and then click again and hold and drag across to quickly add or delete notes. I'm going to add on a little hi-hat groove here. And then I can hit play and hear the whole groove all together. Alright, so that's my sound. Now if I look up above, my loop has now appeared up here. And I can go ahead and loop what I have already created to make it last eight measures. I can shorten it up as well. One thing I like to do is instead of adding all of my sounds within one loop, I can switch them, I can separate them out. So I could duplicate this track. And so I've got them all here, but I really only want my bass in the first track. So I'll go ahead and delete my kick, everything except for the kick drum in this track. I'm going to go ahead and swap these around here. So I've got my kick all in that first track. In the second track, I could get rid of everything but my snare. And then I could move my, I'm going to go ahead and delete, I'm going to copy this. And then I could add, delete my snare and add my hi-hat groove down below. I'm just going to go ahead and add in a quick hi-hat groove. Add some 16s all the way across. That'd be fun. And so I've got my hi hat groove down below. Now I have these this drum kit built up. One thing you may be interested in is my velocity down below. Right now it, the preset is for all of your sounds to hit at full volume. But what we can do is if we click and drag across, we can lower our velocity for those notes instead of them being full all the way up. I can highlight across. I can drag them all down to a lower level or a higher level depending on what I'm looking for. So if I want them softer, I drag them down the velocity. If I want them louder, I can pull that up to do that. Once you create a drum sound, you can go in and change your kit. So maybe I don't like that uh, particular studio kit. I could change this to 808 and hear what the 808 drum kick sound would sound like on that as well. So if you're not stuck with the sounds that you select early on. You can always change them. As always, let me know if you guys have any questions and get working.